When we speak about a second wave classically, what we often mean is that there will be a first wave, the disease by itself effectively goes to a very low level and then occurs a number of months later. What we're concerned about, and that may be a reality for, for many countries <clears throat> uh, in a number of months' time, but we need to be also cognizant of the fact that the disease can jump up at any time. Uh, we, we, we cannot make assumptions that just because the disease is on the way down now that it's, on a, it's, on, it's going to keep going down and then we're going to get a number of months to get ready for a second wave. We may get a second peak in this wave. This happens during pandemics in the past. It certainly happened in the pandemic uh, of 1919 and the Spanish flu. Uh, we, we got a second peak, not necessarily a second wave. Uh, and therefore, I think uh, right now, uh, countries in Europe, countries in North America, many other countries around the world in Southeast Asia have to continue to uh, put in place the, 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 the public health and social measures, the surveillance measures, the public health measures, the testing measures, and a comprehensive strategy to ensure that we continue on a downward trajectory. You know, there's a certain predictability of this virus, but any time you become complacent and you think you know, it will surprise you. And this virus has an opportunity and it will take advantage, every advantage that it can, to resurge, to transmit. We all want this to be over, but we have a long way to go. We're at the beginning of this and we must continue to, to really stay strong.